India, a country with nearly one and a half billion inhabitants. Architectural wonders and millions of pedestrians strolling the streets every day. Roads here are used by many, which can often lead to confrontations. Everyone must assert their presence. There are buses, cars, but also tuk-tuks and bicycles. It's a cacophony of incessant horns. In this former British colony, people drive on the left. Scooters zigzag through the traffic, transporting three or four people, often without helmets. India holds a sad record, the highest number of deaths on the road in the world, 150,000 deaths every year. Almost half of the victims are two-wheelers, cyclists and pedestrians. With 450,000 accidents per year, the country alone accounts for over 10% of the world's accidents. North India is the most accident-prone region of the whole country. This area stretches from the capital New Delhi to the Himalayas. Mountains with roads that reach more than 4,000 meters above sea level. But mountain roads are not the only ones presenting danger. Around the capital, the Delhi Murat Expressway is one of the deadliest roads, with more than a thousand deaths on average every year. Wrong side se aa rahe ek truck se ho gayi, jisme is car mein maujood ek hi parivar ke panch logon ki maut ho gayi. During winter months, a thick fog caused by the pollution engulfs the Indian capital, causing many accidents. On these roads, there are cars as well as horse-drawn carriages, wagons going the wrong way, and buffaloes and cows crossing the roads. In the valleys of Ladakh, we accompanied a truck driver who drove 1,200 kilometers on the side of a mountain without safety barriers, at risk of falling into the void. On the outskirts of New Delhi, Inspector Lokesh Kumar's team operates on roads where fatal accidents are a daily occurrence. On the Delhi Mirut Expressway, Inspector Ahmed has to deal with drivers who take reckless risks. Behaviour that puts their lives and the lives of others at risk. From the plains surrounding the capital to the Himalayan peaks, we take you on a journey through the roads of northern India, the scene of nearly 250,000 accidents every year. The city of Ghaziabad, in the suburbs of New Delhi. It's 3 p.m. when Inspector Padam Singh's patrol is called to an accident. The first reports indicate that a truck has driven off the road. The truck driver fled the scene in fear of the consequences. The mechanic who was travelling with him is the only witness still on the scene. The police must question him to understand the cause of this accident. Inspector Singh suspects the truck driver fell asleep while driving, a very common cause of accidents on the roads of India, where truck drivers sometimes travel thousands of kilometers without taking a break. While the police are organizing the extraction of the truck, an accident happened on the other side of the road. 
To get there, Inspector Singh has to cross the highway, avoiding cars travelling at more than 90 kilometres an hour. At this speed, a collision would be fatal. On this road, there is no pedestrian crossing. Leaving with minor injuries, this biker avoided the worst. Inspector Singh now has to deal with the remaining paperwork between the motorcyclist and the other vehicles before he can let them go. On this expressway, speeding, lack of attention and careless driving habits are the main causes of accidents. Emergency services report more than 50 every day. Here, a truck has capsized, killing a scooter driver. The second driver miraculously escaped. Inspector Padam Singh, who has been patrolling this expressway for more than 10 years, has witnessed hundreds of severe accidents during his years of service. This is Delhi. This is This is on this highway, the speed limit is 100 kilometers an hour for cars and 80 for two-wheelers. Despite these regulations, accidents are very common. Some of them involve slow-moving tractors that have become a real danger for other drivers. There is a very particular cause for accidents on this expressway. Carts drawn by buffaloes and horses travel on it every day. These makeshift vehicles travel on the highway in the middle of traffic with vehicles speeding at nearly 100 kilometers an hour. For Inspector Singh, the priority is to get these carts off the highway before they cause an accident. The inspector explains the risks of operating these animal drawn carts to the farmers here. 
अब दोपहरी के टाइम में कम वाहन मिलता हाँ जी अब जो सब सुबह के टाइम में ड्यूटी वाले निकलते हैं और शाम के टाइम भी ड्यूटी वाले निकलते हैं तो इस करके अब दोपहर में इसलिए निकाला अब कम वाहन मिलेंगे ड्यूटी वाले मोटरसाइकिल वाले नहीं मिलेंगे आगे पे भाई ये चलना वाहन ये मना है और बाकी इनको डेट अब निकालो रात में निकालो खाली रोड जो निकालो दोपहर का टाइम हो रहा है बाहर ये बज रहा है अभी तक जा अभी किसी को अपने को मरोगे दूसरे को ले मरोगे आगे है to save time on their daily commute, these locals refuse to use the small adjacent roads. They prefer to run the risk of driving on the highway, putting their lives in danger. Only 10 minutes after the first one, another cart approaches. We return back to the scene of the crashed truck with the driver on the run. Local residents came to help in an effort to pull the heavy truck out. Inspector Prashant Yadav is in charge and secures the scene. An excavator and a crane are used to clear the concrete blocks on which it landed. There is no time to waste. With the truck blocking part of the road and vehicles still passing, the risk of another accident is increasing by the minute. Traffic says that it's very peripheral and if it's going to happen, it will be gone and it will be empty. The road will be empty. But things aren't going as planned. The operation is taking time and more and more cars are passing by the accident area. The locals have been working for more than half an hour and have finally freed the wheels of the truck. After more than an hour of effort, the truck is finally released. The concrete block is still stuck, but the truck has been moved and traffic can continue as normal. In winter, this expressway linking the capital of India to the city of Meerut is regularly engulfed in a thick fog caused by pollution. It's a daily challenge for the police officers who have to intervene several times a day on accidents caused by the lack of visibility. It's barely 6 a.m. when Inspector Lokesh Kumar receives his first call. A car with five students crashed into the back of a truck at full speed. Upon arriving at the scene, the police officer fears that someone is still trapped in the car. The front of the car was completely destroyed by the impact. The engine got stuck under the wheels of the truck, thrusting all the passengers towards the windshield. This young woman is one of the injured. Uh, 
While the inspector secures the scene, the last of the injured is put in an ambulance. Every second is crucial to get the victims to the nearest hospital. Five students in total were injured in the accident. On this expressway, police respond to more than 10 accidents like this every day. In winter, every week, 50 fatalities are recorded on average. मेरठ एक्सप्रेसवे से बड़ी खबर आ रही है जहां कोहरे की वजह से एक बड़ा हादसा हुआ है पंद्रह गाड़ियां आपस में टकरा गई हैं जिसमें चार लोग घायल हो गए हैं घटना स्थल से तस्वीरें आप देख रहे हैं कोहरा इस हादसे का कारण बताया जा रहा है दिस फुटेज शोज सेवरल कार्स क्रैशिंग इन टू इच अदर एट हाई स्पीड ड्यू टू थिक फॉग The victims try to get out of the vehicles as quickly as possible. Fifteen cars were involved in this accident. As a result, four people have died. On these roads in northern India, nearly 90,000 people lose their lives each year. A record number, making this region of the country one of the deadliest in the world. We are back with Inspector Lokesh Kumar's men who've just arrived at the hospital. <laughs> Due to lack of resources, it's impossible for this hospital to provide several stretchers for the victims. They will have to walk by themselves to the entrance of the emergency room. Among the five victims, one is in critical condition. Doctors suspect internal bleeding. Despite the seriousness of the injuries, the passengers were extremely lucky. The students are responsible for the accident. The driver of the truck was taking a break on the side of the road after having travelled more than 2,000 kilometres to deliver his cargo. And, like many drivers, he was coming from the very north of India, from the highlands of Ladakh, an arid area at more than 4,000 metres above sea level. Mm -hmm. 